Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to the Five Minute Facebook Ministry. Giving God all the glory, my name is Anthony Daniels. Today we're coming out of the book of Mark, the 12th chapter, the 6th verse. That's Mark 12 and 6. And it reads out of the King James Version. Having yet therefore one son, his well-beloved, he sent him also last unto them, saying, They will reference my son. Again, having yet therefore one son, his well-beloved, he sent, he sent him also last unto them, saying, They will reference my son. Now this is Jesus telling the parable about the vineyard and the husbandman uh, who took care of the, uh, the vineyard for, for a certain man. And he talks about how he sent his, <clears throat> he sent people to check on the vineyard and they were beaten, and killed um, by the husbandman. And then he sent his, having yet therefore one son, he sent his only son. This is his well-beloved son. He sent him also last unto them saying, they will reference my son. Now this story and his son is kind of, kind of covers, uh, God, who sent the prophets to Israel, and after he sent all the prophets, he sent his son. He says, my well-beloved. He sent him also last of them, saying, they will reference my son. So, G so Jesus comes to us by God, and Jesus is his beloved son, so that we will reference him. And not only will we reference him, but as the husbandman should have done with the van, vineyard, they should have given the son, the, the vineyard's owner's share of the vineyard. Okay? They were keeping the vineyard for God. They gave God his, his share of the vineyard. And when Jesus, when Jesus came back, the expectation was that he would be referenced. Referenced. They would revere him. I'm sorry, they would revere him, not represent. They would revere him. They would look up to him. They would recognize who he was. That he was a son of God. And they would give him what was rightfully his. That he would love him. And that is love. That's the love. They would give him his love and their dedication and their faith. And that did not happen. And they crucified Jesus. So today, when we read this, Jesus came. Now we are those husbands who are keeping the vineyard, who are here to, to, to take care and have dominion over God's earth. We are, we are here. And we know that Jesus has come. And the question is, are we rever do, we, do we revere him? Are we giving Jesus his due for our father, for his father? Jesus has come to say, I've come to get. I've come to represent my father with you. And most of us, a lot of us, most men on this earth don't recognize him who he is, for who he is. Some people, we call them atheists, just don't believe in God, the Father, the owner, the vineyard, the earth. But that's the Son. Then we have those who find different ways to worship the Son, who don't recognize the Son, but recognize God. And, you know, people just find different ways not to step into what Jesus brings. Now this this parable, you know, it talks about paying the father's representative what is the father's. Not what not what is ours, not what we need to borrow, but what is the father's. And and what we're giving him back is his already. See, everything that we have is already God's. And when Jesus came, he came to help us realize that everything we had came from the Father. So that we could begin to give what we owe to the Father for giving us everything that we have. And you know what I'm saying? Jesus came so that we could give to the Father, recognize who he was, that he was the Son of God, and that we would listen to him and trust him and love him 
and, re and start to give to God what is God's. So you say, what is God's? Well, God's is everything that you are. God's all God gave it to you. God provided it to you. One way, shape, or form, God provided it to you. Whether you believe in God or not. But the, the point is, God doesn't want your money. He doesn't want uh, your house. He doesn't want your car. He wants your love. He wants your faith. He wants your belief. He wants your trust. That's what he wants from you. He wants you to trust him. He wants you to believe in him. He wants you to have faith in him. He wants you to know that he's going to take care of you. He's not coming. Jesus didn't come to kick us out of the vineyard. It's like this. The son didn't come to kick the, the husbandman out of the vineyard. He came to get what was the father's. That's what Jesus is coming to do, to get what is the father's. Our love and our trust and our dedication to him. And that's all we need to give. All this material stuff, we can keep it. And when we start trusting and believing God and loving on God like we're supposed to, this material stuff won't mean anything for us. Because we know that us giving God what is already here, he's going to give us eternal life. For us giving God what is already here, not ours, what is already here, he's going to give us eternal life. That's all the time I have, and I'm going to leave you with that thought. Hey, God bless you. God loves you, and I love you too. Have a great day.